Room 9 is where it all goes down. If you want to compare it to something, it's part uh, X-Files, part Fringe, mixed in with a kind of a more run-of-the-mill police procedural type show. Room 9 is a fringe police department set in an alternate reality in a future where supernatural things occur. It takes place in a country called New Azania. In a new, new South Africa. It's a South Africa beyond the South Africa we, kind of we know. There's a specialised division that deals with um, everything to do with the occult, to do with the supernatural, to do with the unexplained. And it's just like um, a cult unit explore everything weird that comes through the police department. This is a team of detectives who are experts in their field in kind of investigating this kind of material. They're a dysfunctional group of guys who get thrown together in room nine and uh, through that they form a bond and through the bond they get very good at solving the crimes. The story details a young woman named Alice Kunene who's recently been transferred to this division of the police. Detective Alice Kunene reporting for duty, sir. Alice is the rookie detective who's just gotten out of detective school and, you know, all ready and pumped up to do detective work and she gets assigned to this unit and she's like, bam, in the middle of something that she's not very familiar with. Alice Kunene, the young detective, has to investigate and solve crimes that are far from normal, far from natural. So much is happening around her. The list is endless. Add, add a bit more to the list. Satan is alive and well and very busy in the Golden City tonight. Harkness heads up this unit and he's a guy that's been around for a long time. He's been a regular detective and he's been assigned to head up and form this new unit to solve these rather mysterious crimes. What's interesting about Harkness is that he's seen so much and he's seen so many things that can't be explained. Ruby is really connected, I would say, to other dimensions, to the paranormal. She's blind. But because of this blindness, she has an acute sensibility to be clear audience. Solomon and Diego specializes in witchcraft and wizardry. I wish you would not call it that. Solomon is, he's that guy. He's, he's a bit of a goof off sometimes as well. Catherine is the daughter of Harkness, who is our lead detective in Room 9. She comes out of quite a bad background. The past two years of her life have really been quite intense, very horrible. Monday in room nine is the husband. Did you know that you're married to a zombie cop? Hmm? A zombie cop. Zombie cop. A very frustrated husband at that. He's the guy that's in between Alice and her work. You have a, an alien that is eating people. Where are you going to go? You're going to go to room nine. Room nine is the last line of defense against the universal evil that exists in the world of new Azania. We all are scared of the things that go bump in the night. It is material for everybody in room 9, be it the dramatic, be it all the elements that make for very good entertainment, they're all there in room 9. I've never seen a show like this coming out of South Africa. What you gonna watch? I'm gonna watch. And cut.